So I have two Americana chicks that I'm hoping to get green eggs out of. And I'm using my homemade brooder again. And I'll have a link to that. It's a pretty popular video because it's something very easy you can make yourself. But this time I had to change some things with the lighting and I thought it's time to discuss the warming light that you need to use to keep your chicks at the right temperature. Here goes. Okay, if you read any of the books, you know it's supposed to be the first week is 95 to 100 degrees, then it's 90 to 95, and then 85 to 90. You get the picture. It just keeps on going down until you get to the temperature outside or your room temperature or they get enough feathers that it really doesn't matter. Now when I first raised chickens, I was really, really concerned about those temperatures. But then I remembered, gee, at home, my mom would get eggs just before they're ready to hatch, a couple days beforehand. We'd bring them home and we'd hatch them in a box with a little light bulb and then we'd keep the chicks near the gas stove and they kept warm enough and they grew into nice chicks that we gave away to a farm that someday became somebody's meal, I'm sure. But anyway, being first time, I was very concerned I had to have that temperature exactly right. And to do that, you really need to have a system with a light that can lower or higher until you achieve the right temperature. I think it's really most important the first couple weeks of their life. After that, especially, I mean, my house is at 68 degrees. I mean, it's not really, really cold. They're going to stay in the house until they're probably about seven weeks old. They get enough of their adult feathers, so then they can go outside. But those first two weeks, it is more important. So if you're at the feed store, maybe where you got your chickens, you'll see this red lamp, 250 watts, right by where you buy your chickens. And you know, for a little brooder, or if you only have like six or fewer chickens, this can really be an overkill. And I mean literally kill. This gets incredibly, incredibly hot, and you have to be very, very careful that your temperature doesn't reach higher than it should and actually fry your chickens. I decided to do a little experiment, and I broke open one of my chicken's eggs on a plate and put it under the red 250 watt heat lamp and boy does it get hot quick within 10 minutes had a fully cooked egg look at this the top is hard and look at the inside perfectly done yolks just think of what it could do to little chicks so I recommend more this light it's 125 watt. Usually you can also find this right by where you buy your chickens, heat lamp. This works well for me um, as long as I keep on hiring it as I need to to change the temperature. Um, you can also get you know, 100 watt, 75 watt, incandescent, whatever works for you. You gotta be concerned where you're using these heat lamps because if they accidentally fall and are still plugged in, still having heat, they can start a fire because things get incredibly hot under them. I also always make sure I have a backup, you know, an extra light like this. Uh, when the chicks were only a little over a week old this time, I went in the bathroom, was checking on them, and I noticed that the heat lamp was off was plugged in, I put another bulb in, it worked fine. So I had a bad bulb that was only used for a week and it burnt out. So especially if you have your chickens outside where it's cold, you gotta make sure you check often and that you have a backup heat lamp. Well, this year when we're raising our chickens, I only got two replacement chickens. They're Americanas because I kind of wanted some green eggs. I haven't had green eggs for a while. And we have remodeled our bathroom. The Whirlpool tub is a lot smaller. Now, my brooder still fits in it, but the big metal pieces on either side that I would 
lower or higher the light, those d does not fit in here. And I didn't want to scratch a new Whirlpool top. So I came up with this instead. And this is a little mini tripod. You can see it's got two sections on it. You can actually add a third. So on Amazon, I found a tripod similar to this. It's under $26. And the neat thing about this, you can use it for when your chicks are little, but then you can also use it camping over a campfire. This is the company. Um, it says it's mini camping tripod. I had gotten this in my, I think it was the battle box a couple months ago. And yep, it'd be great to use for camping, but you know what? It really is nice to use for lowering and hiring the light. So I am, um, this is working for me. It fits right on top here, and I don't have to worry about cats getting into my brooder because it is the brooder with the lock on the lid, and I can make sure I have the right temperature for the chicks. But when I did this, I thought of some other solutions too. Here goes. Here I attached the heat lamp to my camera tripod. And I think this would work really well, especially if you wanted to have the tripod go over your little brooder, like my own do-it-yourself brooder. Uh, I got this tripod for $5 at a garage sale, so you can do it very, very inexpensively. And of course, you could also use more of the mini camera tripod and put that on top of the brooder box. If you have ceiling plant hooks or hooks for lamps or any other reason, you can affix a chain to it and hang your heat lamp over your brooder box. And that would work just fine too. Love to hear what ideas you have came up with. Isn't he beautiful? I hope you found this video helpful. And remember, I know you panic when you're a first time mother hen, but it really is easier than it looks and just make sure that you provide heat when it's needed, at the right height, and you will do fine. Isn't that right? This is Prepper Popori saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, and as always, thank you so much for subscribing.